Hello everyone and welcome to the 2020 Field Hockey Canada Conference. My name is Kevin Underhill. I'm thrilled to be welcoming you uh, to this week of festivities. Truly a first of its kind event for us at Field Hockey Canada and it's our pleasure to bring you educational, entertaining, uh, exciting, engaging topics and sessions all week long. Um, so thank you very much for joining. On a housekeeping side, we have six sessions this week ranging uh, from gender equity and racism and inclusion in sports to growing the game at the grassroots level and everything in between. Uh, we hope that no matter who you are, uh, you find something that you can get out of these sessions and we really hope that you enjoy yourself and engage with the, with the conference. Uh, furthermore, on the housekeeping side of things, uh, the organizational staff, myself, Kevin, Haley Yap and Grace Lee will be working the technical side for the sessions uh, that you'll be watching on the Zoom and engaging with. So um, our contact information is on the website. Feel free to reach out to us anytime with questions about the conference. Um, we're just so excited to have everyone here and we're thrilled that we're finally here and it's conference week. Uh, my personal thanks and an organizational thanks to all the volunteer presenters and panelists. They're, um, dedicating their time and expertise to us to help grow the sport and grow the community. So our deepest, deepest thank you uh, for doing that. Uh, as far as this welcome address goes, um, it's pretty simple really. Sit back and enjoy. It's a brief message from me and then I'll be off screen. Uh, we have Susan Ahrens, our CEO, coming on to do a brief message and talk a little bit about 2020 and some of the challenges that it's brought, but some of the ways that we've been able to do our best throughout this time. And then we have a special guest, Alan Waterman, uh, Field Hockey Canada Hall of Famer from the 2019 class to come on and, and just give us a little welcome and a uh, exciting message of hope and uh, talk a little bit more about the conference as a whole. So, uh, and yeah, and aside from that, it's really just us welcoming you and thanking you for registering and hoping that you have a fantastic week. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Field Hockey Canada's digital conference. We're thrilled that you can join us and glad to be engaging with you over this digital platform. We hope you and yours are safe. And although 2020 has been a very challenging year for all of us, we are really thrilled that we've been able to pivot into digital operations and be able to engage with you, our community, our team in this forum. We've been working really hard behind the scenes to build out our team of teams. Field hockey is a team sport and one of the greatest joys of team sport is the engagement you have with your own team members, with opposition team members, with coaches and officials. And we take the same approach in building our team of teams within the organisation. Perhaps the most visible of our team of teams is our high performance team. This year we re we've reviewed high performance and implemented a new structure underneath our high performance director Adam Janssen. And welcome Adam to the organisation. Working under Adam is Andre Henning and Andrew Wilson, our new head coaches for our national teams. And they're going to be busy. 2021 and 2022 are busy years with an Olympic Games and World Cup qualification and then World Cup themselves coming up. And we look forward to cheering them on from the sidelines as we know both our national teams and indeed indoor masters and other national teams represent Canada with such a great approach on and off the field and thank you to each and every one of our wonderful athletes. Field Hockey Canada is however much more than just national teams. Supporting the national teams is a system. Our team of teams involves coaching, umpiring, officiating, technical table, volunteer community who run events, our clubs, our schools, our universities. All of these teams are important. All of these teams contribute to the success and we all work in this environment and community together. We try and support everybody within our team of teams and look forward to working with all our teams to build future success. In keeping with our work, building our community from grassroots to high performance, we hope this conference has something for each and every one of you. My thanks, our thanks, to all the amazing presenters, panelists and speakers who are contributing to this conference. With your engagement and their wonderful expertise that they bring, we know this is going to be a great event. So thank you all. My special thanks to Kevin Underhill, Grace Lee and Haley Yap, three amazing members of staff who I know do a ton of work behind the scenes each and every day from administrative tasks and, and all the extra tasks that, that they get pulled into but they've really driven this whole project into uh, the success that uh, it is. So my thanks to them especially. Finally, my thanks to you for joining us today. It's a pleasure to have you here with us at Field Hockey Canada in this digital conference. We look forward to you enjoying this conference safely at a distance. 
But we do look forward to the day when we can meet together in person and enjoy some wonderful field hockey and social occasions on and off the field. Thank you. Thank you very much, Susan, for the kind words and for all the work you do as a community leader. We really appreciate it. Uh, next up, we're going to throw it over to Alan Waterman, uh, 2019 Field Hockey Canada Hall of Fame inductee in the officials category, uh, to, to be a special community guest welcoming everyone to the conference. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a first for Field Hockey Canada during a year of firsts. One thing this year offers us actually is a positive, a chance to step back, to reset, to look with fresh eyes at our lives through our favorite sport, field hockey. Perfect example is this event. Who would have thought a year ago that we could all meet at a conference virtually eye to eye from across the country without stepping on board a crowded plane, hanging out in an airless hotel boardroom, and enduring yet another rubber chicken dinner. Digital conferences such as this have become our new norm, our way to educate each other, to engage, to create constructive conversations while wearing just sweatpants. And we've become equally creative on the hockey pitch, working within health directives to hold training sessions and even restart leagues until recently. Our own national squads are rejuvenating with the fresh eyes of new coaching staff to once again focus players toward the success and dreams of Olympic and World Cup matches. Coming up with creative solutions within travel restrictions and cohort bubbles. So, so different from my memories of umpiring matches in stadiums crammed with more than 100,000 spectators. We look at videos from events like that now and just cringe. Just think of all those bodies, shoulder to shoulder, shouting, singing. Seems like a century ago, and don't laugh, it wasn't a century ago. But spectators? Heck, we now find it hard to imagine any spectators on the side of a pitch. So the times and sessions such as this offer us an unprecedented opportunity to look inward at our sport, how to improve, how to innovate, how to engage, so that we come back stronger, renewed, with an even better approach to our sport. Some workshops this week will obviously focus on the latest methods of practical aspects, from coaching championship teams, to assisting players after they say goodbye to elite hockey, to growing at the grassroots. While other sessions will challenge our perceptions, and rightly so, of how we think our sport operates, around systemic racism, mental wellness of high-performance athletes, and gender equity. Our coming together for this conference marks not only a chance to once again feel excited and proud of what we can accomplish for field hockey in Canada, but also simply the opportunity to come together for our sport. It makes me think of a phrase we used to hear a lot last spring, something that has gone by the wayside, much like the nightly seven o'clock tribute to frontline healthcare workers. The phrase, we're all in this together. Perhaps you can keep those words in the back of your head throughout this week's sessions and then keep them alive when you return to your respective hockey communities throughout this country, fresh with the, lesson, <laughs> fresh with the lessons from this conference. May that be your mantra while you work with your elite players, create new programs for that latest crop of seven-year-olds, or develop your young officials. We're all in this together. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alan. We always appreciate hearing from you, talking with you, and uh, we can't wait to get going with this week of festivities. Uh, and with that in mind, we'll throw the mic over to Grace Lee and Haley Yap to talk a little bit more about the conference as a whole. Thanks, Kevin. Hi, everyone. My name is Haley Yap, and I am the Membership Engagement Coordinator for Field Hockey Canada. I'm coming to you from my home office in Ottawa, Ontario. We hope that you will participate in as many sessions as possible this week and engage in our little game called FHCC Bingo. By filling out your bingo card and submitting it to me on Sunday, December 6th, you will have a chance to win one of three FHC mystery prizes. This week, we have a great lineup of speakers and presenters for you. And to kick things off, we will start with Jen Vegan, who will present coaching championship programs, 
This will be followed by a panel on racism in sports and effective allyship, which will be moderated by our very own Grace Lee and feature Inderpal Sembi, Patrick Shoshani, and Shireen Ahmed. Once again, we'd like to thank all presenters and speakers for being with us this year, and we can't wait to see what the week has to hold. On to you, Grace. Hey everyone, my name is Grace Lee and I'm the Marketing and Communications Coordinator of Field Hockey Canada, coming to you live from Toronto. And I'm so, so, so excited to welcome you guys all on board the first ever Field Hockey Canada Digital Conference. We have some very, very exciting workshops and events lined up for you this week, some of which my colleague Haley had mentioned, and perhaps a few surprises along the way. We'll kick off day two with the Mental Wellness and High Performance Settings Workshop, led by Dr. Mary Claire Burke and featuring some trailblazers within their own fields. At night, we'll follow this up with the Life After the Field panel featuring former national team athletes and hear stories about how they've gone on to succeed in their various disciplines. Our final day will feature a Gender Equity in Sport workshop with Canadian Women in Sport to discuss how we can make sports systems a bit more equitable. And in the afternoon, Sarah Rastani, Female Grassroots Coach of the Year will fit in the wrap of the conference with her Growing at the Grassroots workshop. Despite being a virtual conference, we still hope to make this a very, very engaging event. And we encourage you all to tag us in your posts and stories and use the hashtag FHCConference, which we'll definitely be checking frequently throughout the week. Thank you so much again for participating and joining us, and we hope you have a very, very superb week. Thank you so much. Thank you, Grace. Thank you, Haley. Uh, we're thrilled to get things going this week, as you can tell. And just another huge thank you for registering. Uh, we hope you're as excited as we are to get things going this week. And um, we can't wait. So without further ado, um, we'll see you tomorrow. And have a great week.